members of the GOP are speaking out pretty ferociously against Lindsey Graham, who has become a true Trump loyalist. So Republican voters against Trump actually put out a new ad showing Lindsey Graham calling out Trump previously while also praising Joe Biden. Now, of course, uh, he has pivoted in his political views on both these people. Um, but I think it's important to keep in mind that Graham is facing uh, a re-election challenger, a Democrat by the name of Jamie Harrison. And previously, it was thought that it would be impossible for Harrison to beat uh, Lindsey Graham. It's still going to be very difficult, but there's a shot. And I think ads like this uh, do prove to be effective. So let's take a look at what Republican voters against Trump produced. I want to talk to the Trump supporters for a minute. What is Donald Trump's campaign about? He's a race-baiting, xenophobic, religious bigot. And you know how you make America great again? Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. If you can't admire Joe Biden as a person, then it's probably, you got a problem. <laughs> you need to do some self-evaluation. Because what's not to like? He is as good a man as God ever created. He said some of the most incredibly heartfelt things that anybody could ever say to me. He's the nicest person I think I've ever met in politics. This is a defining moment in the future of the Republican Party. We have to reject this demagoguery, and if we don't reject Donald Trump, we've lost the moral authority, in my view, to govern this great nation. Damn. That is a super effective ad, and I definitely appreciate it. Look, I'm exhausted. I don't want to kick it on any new projects, uh, but it drives me nuts that there are no Democrats making ads like this. It's all Republicans kicking Trump's ass. So, I mean, Democrats, where the hell are you, man? Makes me want to start a pack just to kick Trump's ass. Uh, so anyway, uh, now two, two more important things. So, so now, of course, Lindsey Graham spends most of his days uh, licking Donald Trump's boots to keep him nice and shiny. Uh, and uh, they're absolutely right to point out his hypocrisy. And uh, you know, when uh, other media folks tell you that he has pivoted, and Anna like pretty much gave it air quotes as she was uh, saying it derisively, you know, regular folks have a word for that. It's called lying. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, well, I used to tell you that Donald Trump is the worst uh, and Joe Biden's the best. Now I tell you the exact opposite. Because I'm a slimy politician liar is how that sentence should end if you're being remotely honest. But it's not only does Lindsey Graham lie with no conscience at all, but most of the mainstream media cover for him uh, when they just say, oh, he did a savvy pivot later to gain access to Donald Trump. It's not savvy. It's gross. No, it's not savvy at all. And in fact, uh Lindsey Graham, to his credit, was very transparent about his opportunistic nature. This was during an interview for the podcast for the New York Times, The Daily. And it's one of those podcasts that I think about a lot because of the unbelievable transparency uh, provided by Lindsey Graham. He's clear. He does what he does for power. And he really doesn't have a moral or ethical compass. Take a look. After the Kavanaugh hearings, I think the question that everybody has on some low level about what happened to Graham is now the question we're all openly asking. What happened to Lindsey Graham? Yeah. So did you actually pose that question? Yes, I did. You seem a little sick and tired of the uh, what's what's happening to Lindsey Graham question. Like, yeah, now, well, it, it, it's just like, yeah, like, OK, <laughs> right. nothing from my point of view. Mm -hmm. If you know anything about me, it'd be odd for me not to do this. Mm -hmm. Now, what is this? The work yes, with him to or try to be relevant. Try to be relevant. In a sense, he uses the notion of relevance as a catch-all. Hmm. But to what end? I mean, because to you're up to the ends, uh, to the objectives that I, that I want. He wants to remain relevant. So he will switch his allegiance uh, depending on who has the power at that moment. And uh, that's not what a leader does, which is why he has no place in the Senate whatsoever. This is why people hate politicians. Um, and going from saying Trump should go to hell and he's a race baiting bigot to saying he's God's gift to humanity um, to stay relevant so he could have political power and access. It disgusts every actual person there is. Um, and I say actual person, and I don't mean that as a 
hey, middle America is better than the coast or any other way that it's normally used in the media. No, I mean, as opposed to people who live in Washington. So the people that are, are obsessed with power in Washington celebrate this kind of scumbaggery. Uh, and But the rest of us are repulsed by it. So uh, one more thing, though. Joe Biden. He, I've said this before. He, he's a guy who has tremendous empathy for whoever is in the room with him. The problem is it's often people who are powerful uh, and wealthy that are in the room with him because of our broken campaign finance system uh, and because he's been in Washington in the Senate and then uh, in the White House, obviously, for so long. So if you put him in the room with uh, poor people for a long time, he might have empathy for them. African-Americans, he might have empathy for them. But he spent almost all of his life in rooms with people like Lindsey Graham. So Lindsey Graham thinks that Joe Biden has been terrific to him. And he has. And I wish he hadn't. Uh, so I know that every, you know, Graham Poobah in Washington is like, oh, oh, bipartisanship. The fact that Joe Biden gets along with warmonger Lindsey Graham, such a great thing. I, I don't think so. I think Lindsey Graham is not only a sniveling little, uh, you know, grotesque, slimy politician, but he's also a dangerous guy who's a tremendous warmonger. And I don't want Democrats being friendly with him. And I don't want Democrats doing favors for him. So on the one hand, I love this ad for pointing out uh, how gross Lindsey Graham is, how terrible Donald Trump is. On the other hand, uh, they're telling me in the ad, Joe Biden likes Republicans. And and that's why this is a Republican group. So I know they're going to they're trying to get Republicans to vote for Joe Biden. But for the rest of us, they're also telling us when he's in office, he's still going to be friends with guys like Lindsey Graham. And that's the thing. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I think anyone would be naive to not understand, recognize and absorb the fact that the Biden camp has made its political calculation. They want to appeal to people like Republicans uh, against Donald Trump and you know the Lincoln Project and all that. Because they have some power, they have money, they can put out ads like this. They have the capabilities necessary to possibly help Biden win. And so whenever I hear like, you know, some of the more optimistic stuff about Biden, you know, moving to the left, I get frustrated because Politics is all about favors for favors. And so we'll see how uh, his administration plays out.